Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to another weekend in my life vlog. I am um, off of work. It is currently Friday, October 9th, and I'm about to work out, which is why I've taken my makeup off. And what you're seeing all over my skin here, a little skin update since I haven't filmed a vlog in like a week and a half. Um, I think, I don't wanna to speak too soon, I think I'm finally done with my Curology Purge since I went back to my normal formula. And for the most part, my skin is kind of clearing up. I don't have a ton of new breakouts. This is all scarring that I now have. Like I've said before, this is maskne. I'm pretty positive it's maskne and hormonal um, breakouts, but mostly I think maskne. Anyways, not that you guys really care. I just like to give skin updates also for myself. Um, hopefully a year from now, my skin will be clear again. Yeah, I like mask wearing because it covers up the acne that the mask causes. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use my family's Peloton to work out. I've been trying to work out a little bit more lately and stay active since it's starting to get cold outside. I'm gonna go to Levi's later tonight after I get done working out. He gets off work at seven. We're gonna probably get some pizza. And that's the plan for this Friday evening. Okay, so um, I worked out. I barely showed you guys like my process. I meant to, but yeah, I uh, love these. This is a side note. These are delicious. These are the kind of the vitamin water like knockoffs that are sold at Costco. And I mostly drink water, but whenever I'm in the mood for something that's like not water, those are good. I also love um, body armor. That's really tasty as well. I worked out, um, took a shower. What I've been doing lately is taking a shower in the mornings and scrunching my hair and letting it air dry. I love to use like a just mousse to scrunch it. And then also I, I put some of this in it. This is the Christine House air dry cream. And I'm getting my hair done again on Monday. It's gonna be even more blonde than it is now. And it's quite blonde right now. Anyways, let's get my makeup on. Hair and makeup are done, and I'm going to go over to Levi's house now. Well, it's that time of year again. I'm about to leave for Levi's, and I wanted to show you guys how my mom decorated our house this year. She kind of changes it up every year, but yeah, she got this uh, mask right here on the right, this crazy lizard one from Goodwill, and she like created an entire little, I guess it's supposed to be a girl. It's wearing a dress, and um, very much a D DIY, like, Halloween decoration set up here. This little guy here has a Mizzou sweatshirt on. Super cute though, I love it. That candle's new, I didn't see that the other day. And then there's this guy on the mailbox. So it is actually Saturday now. Um, I last vlogged when I was hopping in my car to head to Levi's last night. And I completely forgot to vlog at his place. We ended up watching um, a pretty scary new Nicolas Cage movie. I think it was called A Color From Space or something like that. It was pretty good. And so, yeah, I just forgot to vlog, but it is Saturday. I am, um, it's already halfway through the day. I just went shopping. I went to Target to get a few things and I ended up picking up like clothes as well. So I might do a little haul when I get home. I didn't really get that many things, but yeah. When I'm bored, sometimes I just like to go spend money. It's not a good habit to have. I'm gonna go home now. I'm close to my house and I'm gonna go hang out with my parents for a bit, I think. And who knows what the rest of the day will hold. I'll probably end up back at Levi's this evening. We've got the college hunks here right now. I guess we have some stuff we have to get rid of. So yeah, college hunks. Anyways, let's do a little haul. First up, we've got the Kristen S. Signature Hair Conditioner. It was on sale for $10 for this entire liter. And then I also got the shampoo. I, I've, I've tried the conditioner, haven't tried the shampoo, but Kristen S. is great. It's very affordable. Then I got two of these. So I got this one, it's like a green flannel. It's one that's like a little longer, kind of like tunic length, because I like to wear these with leggings and boots in the fall. It feels like summer outside right now, which is why I'm wearing shorts and a tank top. This is the other one. It's black and white, a little bit more checkered print. These shorts were on sale. These are just some paper bag shorts. A new pair of black booties because I just feel like mine that are in my closet currently, which look almost identical to these, are cheaper quality and point toed. I'll show you guys. Look how pointy that toe is and then compare it to this. This has more of a squared toe and I like that look. And then these are actually, fun fact, these are from the last job I had. Um, I might just give them to my mom or something or my sister. Every time I get a, a new pair of shoes, I try to get rid of one pair so I can kind of swap it out. I have way too many shoes. I just got rid of some last weekend. But I guess in this case, I'll probably go ahead and just give this pair away. But this is how I organize my shoes. I have this back of the door organizer thing. And it's funny because I, I do buy shoes and I think I'm going to wear them often. And then I just, I don't. Like, for example, I bought these at the beginning of quarantine, like when it was still cold out. These are called 
some, what are they called? Sanooks. And I thought they'd be comfy and cute to wear, but I've literally not worn them once. They look brand new. So I bought these blowfish from Pulse Boutique where I work recently. And unfortunately they're kind of small. I thought they fit true to size, but on me, I think I have kind of um, wide feet. So I'm gonna have to wear these with like thinner socks or something. This makes me feel like I did something with my day when I, you know, go shopping and buy a few new things. And so I'm excited about these shoes. I just realized they're getting rid of my dresser. I've had that since I was really young. My grandparents bought it for me. And it finally started falling apart like a year or two ago, but that's my, that's my dresser. Goodbye dresser. There's our couch. I remember the day we got those couches. And there's a few other things in there that they're taking that I have, or that have been in my life since I can remember. Um, and it's just very like sad to see things like this go, but at the same time, they're just items, you know? We attach memories to these things and we associate them with those memories. So then it's kind of bittersweet when you get rid of the items, but on to new and better things. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> a little bit sweaty but I uh, just went on a mile long walk and I ended up at my old elementary school it's crazy because in about a month from now less than a month I'm gonna actually be coming here to vote for the next president on November 3rd so yep my old elementary school it's crazy but anyways love having an Apple watch it keeps track of my miles so far I've done 1.9 miles 1.09 so yeah I look rough, but look how wavy my hair is though. Love that. Just made myself a very interesting drink. I got some gin. I've never tried this brand of gin before. Then I have put some of this in it, lemonade, Kirkland brand vitamin water, and then some Perrier um, watermelon. are immaculate right now. It's quite beautiful out here. Yay! Thank you, Ricky. Mark and Ellie's. St. Charles, everyone. <laughs> Kenna wants some of this for sure. We're having a little date night on the patio. Or what do you call it? It's balcony, not patio. This is the best pizza ever. We're watching Hubie Halloween. Good morning. It is now Sunday. Kenna looks like a pancake. She's laid out. She, uh, <laughs> yep, she's definitely tired. She gets to go to the dog park like really early in the morning, almost every morning. Levi takes her. She plays and then she's tired for the full day. And this is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast. hammock enjoying the beautiful fall season. The leaves are actually falling on me right now. We're on another walk. I'm on another walk, but Izzy's with me this time. Wait, Bailey's a good girl. I did the Can we cheers for the vlog? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna vlog this. Okay, so I'm at I'm dinner. Also. I'm at dinner with um, Stephanie. She's getting married next August and she just asked me. So she asked us to be her bridesmaids. Nice. I've never gotten to be a bridesmaid before. I'm very excited. Cheers, cheers. girls. Cheers, cheers. Come on, Katie. Cheers, the two cheers, newest cheers. additions. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Okay, here's the deal. It's Monday, October 12th, and I have to get my hair done after work today, so I'm gonna vlog um, through my hair appointment, show you guys, you know, before and after. Um, it actually did get more dark than I thought. My roots are coming in a little bit, so I'm excited to get, you know, a little freshened up blonde. It's gonna be quite blonde when I leave the appointment today, but I have work in 15 minutes so i'm gonna start on work for the day i'm here at levi's he's over there and i will once again like i said vlog after work probably when i go to my hair appointment um 
What you doing, Levi? <laughs> Go show Mark. Is anyone out there? <laughs> Those are the kinds of things that I deal with. I'm currently um, working at Levi's and I just wanted to show you guys how cute these two are. For the most part, they get along really well. Peanut is so sweet. She'll give Kenna kisses. Kenna just sleeps all day when I'm here. This is like an hour later and uh, they're still laying here even closer now. I'm about to go get my hair done. I'm gonna drive about 17 minutes to my salon and I'll do a before and after like I usually do. All right, this is what my hair looks like before. I have it up, half up, half down, but you get the point. I got it done um, almost exactly a month ago, a little bit over a month ago on September 10th. So it's been a little over four weeks and I'm excited to see the after results. So I will see you in a second. This is the finished results of my hair. The next day, I actually came home from the salon last time, did not film a before clip or after clip because um, I was just like, I'm gonna get ready for bed. And it obviously was dark out. So I like to film my after clips of my hair when it's, you know, still light out. So I curled it a little bit t today, scrunched it this morning, put some waves in it. Looks great, just a little bit blonder. I basically just got a balayage done. I got the same thing done um, that I got done last time. I love it. And now I'm gonna do a first impressions real quickly of the new David Dobrik perfume. This is the pink one. It is the grapefruit and sandalwood one. It just came in the mail. So I'm going to, Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like I'm gonna regret getting this one and not the uh, darker box one because I think that one had a more like cologne-y smell to it. And I like cologne, you know, apparently this is fruity. And I don't mind fruity scents. And for 60 bucks, this is like a pretty good size bottle. I believe it is a 2.0 fluid ounce or 60 milliliter bottle. Packaging is very simple. The thingy has a magnet on it. So that's really nice. Hmm. I like that. It definitely has like a sandalwood smell to it. And a little touch of fruitiness. But yeah, I don't hate it. It almost has a spiciness to it too. I am so curious to um, know what the other one smells like, but I love trying out new perfumes. So I just decided to purchase this because I love David Dobrik. So I was like, why not? I would rate it probably like a seven out of 10. My favorite perfume, one of my favorites is Jess Jessica Simpson's Fancy. And then I also love Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, but I think that got discontinued. So, so yeah. That's my um, vlog. I think we'll end it here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I love my hair. I definitely thought I was gonna get a full foil done last night and I didn't. I just got another balayage. So it's honestly just a little bit freshened up and maybe next time I go, I'll get a full foil and it'll be like even more blonde. But I didn't really feel like sitting in the salon chair for five to six hours. I just got the same thing done as I did it like four weeks ago and I think it looks great. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.